Today is March the 21st, 2019. We're going to talk about the Jesse Smollett situation. And Lee Daniels came on Twitter today and he had a little statement about how the staff on Empire was reacting to the situation. Let's listen. Last couple of weeks have been a freaking roller coaster. We have. Uh, me and my cast have experienced pain and um, anger and um, um, sadness and frustration and really don't know how to deal with it, you know? And because it, it happened, everything has happened, which, you're, which you are seeing tonight, prior to um, the incident. Um, and this is not what the show was made for. The show was made to bring America together, to... Um, to talk about the atrocities that are happening right now in the streets. So anyway, both shows are on tonight. Star and Empire, they're incredible. Wow. Okay, Lee Daniels is promoting Empire. So you guys, tonight is the last night that Empire be on, the last episode. So go watch it. And, and if you like Empire, you wouldn't want to miss the last one. Anyway, let's recap about what's going on with Jesse Smolik and come up to date. So Jesse Smolik on January 29th was allegedly attacked by two individuals, which he kind of identified with mask on that had jumped him tied a noose around his neck, pour bleach on him, and they yelled out racial names. Anywho, on February the 21st, Jesse Smolik himself was arrested for allegedly making false accusations to the police department, making a false police report. So come March the 14th, Jesse was in court to for his statement of plea. Jesse pleaded not guilty. But then he did request the ask, asking the judge could he have cameras in the courtroom and the judge did grant Jesse that he could have cameras in the courtroom. Here's my take on the whole situation. When I first heard the story about Jesse Smollett, I didn't believe him. I thought, why would he lie? And I even made some videos of um, the situation. But as of today, I have changed my opposition on this. And I do believe that Jesse is being set up to take this fall. And I'm going to tell you guys why I believe this. For first of all, if Jesse would have came back and tried to make a plea bargain with the attorney looking at the situation on 16 accounts, um, I would have I would have said, yeah, he probably did make up this. But then, you know, when he came in on March the 14th and he pleaded not guilty, that changed my mind. And plus looking at some of the videos, which I can show you guys around my neck. Did you get any kind of description of the attack? I gave a body description and I, you know, because I saw this, but, and, you know, right here or whatever, but I didn't see, I can't tell you what color their eyes were. I can't tell. Okay, you guys. Now, did you see in this video how it had been stopped and edited in the slur of his words? This was edited and it makes him look more guilty than not guilty. Pay attention to it again. I gave a body description and I, you know, because I saw this, but, and you know, right here or whatever, but I didn't see, I can't tell you what tell you. And I did not see. Okay. I'm going to show you another clip that was in the video that made me very leery of who was editing this video because it makes him look guilty just because of the editing of the video. Pay attention to this next clip. I have to understand also that it's Chicago in winter. People can wear ski masks and nobody's going to question. 
So did you guys see his eyes go to the side and then they paused? And, I mean, it fluttered and paused. And that makes a person look guilty. So I'm going to show that clip one more time. Understand also that it's Chicago in winter. People can wear ski masks and nobody's going to question that. This is my last observation about editing on this fit, this interview. I want you to take a look at this last piece of this interview and tell me what you think about this one. Around my neck. And then I, but I smelled bleach. I know the smell of bleach. And I saw on my sweatshirt, it had more. Now, did you guys see where the camera person edited right on Gail's face where she's making this facial expression like I don't believe what you're saying I want the public to not believe what you're saying and they just stopped it right on her face that right there is not acceptable but let's take a look at it one more time around my neck and then I but I smelled bleach I know the smell of bleach and I saw on my sweatshirt it had marks on it like spots and during that time I was okay you guys this is the news nugget for March the 21st. Like and subscribe. Hit that button if you haven't hit that button. And I will have some breaking news later on this evening. So be good.